I'm the graveyard slot, I'm provo provocateur number six, I'm Marcus Roma, the artistic director of Pilot Theatre, and having just directed a movie for Universal Pictures, let me tell you, when the producers say we're going to wrap in five minutes, we're going to wrap in five minutes. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing to be amongst some warm producers here today, compared to the experience I've had over the last six years. But we are about to do it and launch it, so it's great to be here. And I want to talk to you about live streaming and innovation and that sort of technology that we now know is out of the bottle. Interesting that Nick said that actually innovation happens in London. It also happens elsewhere in the country too. And let me tell you why. In 2008, David Sable came to our conference called Shift Happens. There I brought over the New York Met Opera, who just actually first live streamed their opera. That discussion there led to the introduction of NT Live. Those sort of things meant that the genie was out of the bottle seven years ago. This is last week's school dinners. The recent launch of the space last week said they would not fund capture, performance capture and live streaming. This is old hat. However, what I want to say to you is that this stuff still needs to happen. The reason for that, I'm going to give you an acronym. The acronym is about access. I'm going to give you A. It's affordable now, and it's available, and it's also for your audience. The real, the real key win on this is that more people end up seeing the work. And as Nick said, actually, at some point, along the DNA chain of a piece of work, it should if it's been supported publicly, be made freely available at some point after it's reached its monetization. That's a really important concept. The reason being, why? See, we can have conversations, we can communicate, and we can connect. It's not all about pushing the theatre out. During a live stream or a webcast, you were able to communicate and chat with your audiences. It's a live event. Don't think of it as something that's a static push. Think of it as a dialogue and as a conversation. C, children and young people. Don't you want all of your work to be accessible and freely available for children and young people in schools, bearing in mind the decimation of arts education at the moment? Don't you want to get your work out there before they sort out their IP issues in this building? Get your work out there now. Start making it available. The other thing is, it's not just children and young people. Think of people in old people's homes. People who through their life have paid their tax, they've paid their money to have this work. They can't see it. Some of us are going to be there sooner than we think. We want our iPads in there. We want to be able to watch Peanut Butter. We want to be able to look at the back catalogue of work. Surely. This is about the society we want to create. A sharing society. <coughs> Do we want that to happen? And the final S is that we can shape it. It's up to us as creative practitioners to shape and to make that shift happen. Be creative in how you want to make the stuff happen. Be creative in how you want to deliver it. In Jim Cartwright's Road, the character Louise says, can we not have before again? And do you know what? No, we can't. We can't go back to the analog world. The breaking news is it's here to stay. How we deal with it and how we shape it is up to us. So come and talk to us. We're having a discussion after coffee. Thank you.